uh, urea versus uric acid i have asked this question to differentiate urea from uric acid to many uh, junior doctors uh, and even my colleagues i never received a, a real answer uh, from anyone that's what i thought to touch this subject today why i uh, took this because uh, you must give the patients correct dietary advices so you will uh, find it at the end of uh, this uh, video oh, why i uh, emphasizing on the difference between these two uh, okay first of all we take the urea urea is produced by liver by a process called urea cycle so as you all know uh, urea cycle happen in uh, uh, inside the liver there are excessive amino acids uh, amino acid contain amino group these amino groups uh, removed from the um, uh, uh, amino acids and converted to urea and this urea uh, excreted via urine so this is how urea is produced urea was uh, was the uh, number one marker before the invention of creatinine to find out the severity of renal failure uh, in addition to this uh, urea we must measure the urea amount uh, in order to find out the plasma osmol osmolality because urea is a is a osmotically active substance so if you want to find out the uh, plasma osmolality you must uh, take count of the urea uh, urea concentration also so in uh, so if a patient with renal failure when he uh, he eat excessive amount of uh, protein then that mean he produce uh, he eat excessive amount of amino acid so this uh, amino acids uh, uh, converted to urea and the urea going to be accumulated in his body so uh, so he can have a very high urea level uh, in the body if he eats so much uh, protein. Uh, similarly, uh, in liver failure patients, so like cirrhotic patients, they can uh, they cannot de degrade it. Uh, they cannot catabolize uh, amino acids. So, if somebody eats so much, uh, if somebody with liver failure eats so much protein, then he can uh, have excessive amino acids. Uh, which cannot be catabolized so it's it this uh, amino acid converted to toxic substances such as uh, ammonium iron these ammonium ions go up to the uh, uh, brain and can produce uh, hepatic encephalopathy so it's better avoid eating too much uh, proteins especially in patients with uh, liver failure and also in kidney okay, failure. Now we know uh, about urea. So what about uric acid? Uh, you all know nucleic acids. Nucleic acids are DNA and RNAs. Uh, we call uh, nucleic acid together. So nucleic acids are, are formed by uh, the structural molecule called nucleotides. Uh, nucleotides contain a compound called uh, nitrogen bases so in nitrogen bases there are two types uh, one is purine and the other one is pyrimidine so during the metabolism catabolism of purine we used to call purine salvage pathway so there are two type of purine uh, adenine and guanine uh, so during the catabolism of purine uh, uh, we produce uric acid so uric acid is produced by not from the protein that is very important thing because uh, many doctors mix up uric acid with urea 
so give a uh, wrong dietary advices to the patients so uh, what i want to emphasize here you cannot find a food uh, which de completely devoid of uh, dna and rna whatever the food you eat animal food or plant food there are there are going to be cells inside if there are cells then there are nucleus if there are nucleus then nu there are nucleus uh, the nucleic acids then uh, if there is nucleic acid there are, there are going to be purine and there are going to be some some amount of uh, uric acid production so you cannot find a food completely devoid of uh, nucleic acid so you must be wiser uh, before you give, uh, going to give a dietary advice uh, to a patient with gout okay now uh, we look at the food uh, regarding gout so i i printed out uh, this page from uh, internet from uh, uk gout society they have uh, given a list of uh, foods and categorized them according to the level of the pu purine contents so uh, high purine foods are offal the kidney liver uh, uh, the pancreas like internal organs heart these contain so much uh, uh, purines and uh, oily fish seafood uh, and also some meat and yeast extracts such as marmite and uh, beer like so in moderate purine category folds meat we all think meat contains so much uh, purines but it fall into uh, moderate purine category uh, so beef lamb pork uh, chicken all fall into this category in addition to that uh, we can see some vegetables asparagus cauliflower spinach and also some peas uh, sorry peas so, uh, green seed and uh, beans all those all those fall into moderate purine uh, food category so low purine foods are milk eggs bread cereals even noodles so we cannot escape from purine whatever we eat we we eat a, a amount of purine so uh, this is this is the reason why i want to uh, I wanted to make this video. In addition to that, you know the tumor lysis syndrome. Tumor lysis syndrome, uh, when the tumor get lysed, then it can produce uh, so much uric acid because tumor contains so many cells inside, so many actively dividing cells, so so much uh, nucleic acid activity inside. So when the tumor uh, suddenly uh, lysed, so it can uh, uh, it can uh, produce so much uh, uh, nucleic acid uh, degradation and purine degradation which can ultimately lead to uh, gouty attacks this is the reason why we used to give uh, allopurinol prophylaxis for these patients thank you guys thanks for watching